let's talk about cleaning your space. That's not particularly exciting, but it is a very important part of how you get the best guest experiences. And it's one of the most common tripping points I've noticed with new hosts, and it's something I definitely tripped up on. The cleaning is crucial. That's the title of this lecture, because it is absolutely crucial. A lot of you think like, oh, my space is clean. That's the biggest problem is that the vast majority of people don't know what clean absolutely is. Now, when you're renting out your space, you're going to be competing with hotels. You're competing with people who run professional bed and breakfasts. When you say clean, do you mean clean as in my friend could stay over for the night and they wouldn't complain about the mess? Or do you mean this is as clean as it would be in a hotel? You need to be in the second category. When I first started cleaning my apartment, what I would do is I would vacuum, I would wipe down the counters, clean out the bathroom, put in a new toilet paper, clean out the kitchen, clean the dishes. That, I thought, was everything I needed to do. I could not have been more wrong. That is about 50% of what you should do. Now, what I recognize is that if people even get the slightest feeling of grunginess, that's going to often result in a low review for your cleanliness rating and possibly a bad review. What you want to do is you really, really want to go all out when you do your cleanings. I suggest you make a list of everything that needs to be cleaned and list it out. I also suggest that you find someone else to clean your apartment because over time, if you do every single cleaning, it's going to drive you crazy, especially because the attention to detail you need to have a space that's going to maximize the guest experience, it's kind of insane and it's not something that you really want to deal with. Once you get to a point where you're charging a lot of money, it's very easy for someone to learn how to clean your space and to do it professionally. Whether or not you choose to use a service is up to you. You're going to pay more, but it's going to be more convenient. If you want to work with one individual person, you might need to spend a couple hours with them showing them how to clean it properly, but they're going to be cheaper and possibly less reliable depending on the person. Now when I go back and I clean my apartment, I do everything. This is a word that I want you to keep in your mind, detailing. You are literally going after the details of your space. I wipe not just the countertops, I wipe the legs of my coffee table, I'll wipe the corners of the bed, the wooden part of the bed, I'll vacuum, and then I'll use a Swiffer, because a wet Swiffer on a hard floor makes this kind of shine look to it. You don't just clean the dishes, you then clean the sink itself. That was something before I said, oh, no dishes. Well, somebody who's coming in there is going to want it to look like it's brand new, so clean the sink as well. Have you ever been to a real estate open house? You want to make it look as close to that as possible. That's why I suggest when you do have problems like scuffs, scrapes, or things that break, try to fix those as quickly as possible. And try to figure out a cheap, easy way of doing this because they're probably going to happen in the future. 